Rebecca Smith. Illustrated by Zoe Waring. Think of a princess. Imagine her there with thick golden locks and a high golden chair. Daisy, the sweetest, most lovely of girls, dreamed of cascading princess-like curls. And if you asked Daisy, then she would confess she loved dressing up like a fairy princess. There in the costume box, under her bed, she kept a pink gown and a crown for her head. She'd put on her crown and her fabulous dress and, ta-da, there she'd be, a fairy princess. And while she was playing, she would not have to think about things not so happy, nor sparkly and pink, about visiting hospital far from her home and the times she felt poorly, sad, and alone. See, Daisy took medicine that made her feel bad to help her get rid of the cancer she had. At times, she felt so very ill and so weak, it was almost too much to smile or to speak. But worst of the lot, what felt most unfair, the medicine made Daisy lose all of her hair. Her locks fell out when they came to be brushed and her princess dreams felt terribly crushed. One day, back at home, looking for games to play, Daisy found something she thought she'd thrown away. Down in the depths of her old costume box, beneath the blue wings and the huge monster socks, was something bright pink and amazing and big, a fabulous, sparkly, magical wig. Daisy put on the wig and twirled all around. And then, with a fairy-like twinkling sound, a shimmering mask appeared on her face. Her dressing gown vanished, and there in its place was a long flowing cape tied on with a bow. And she was now Daisy, the superhero. A crackle of magic, and out of the blue, our Daisy found herself at the town zoo. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Somebody must need a superhero. Yes, the lemurs were making a terrible din. A boy stood shaking their tree with a grin. He laughed at their fear as they clutched at small twigs. Then Daisy strode up in her fabulous wig. Excuse me, she said. You are being unkind. Read the sign here and I think you will find. Kindness and care is the number one rule. Cruelty to animals is really uncool. The boy stopped shaking the lemurs' tall tree. His cheeks burned with shame almost instantly. You're right, he said. That was just mean and unfair. But can I say, you have such cool hero hair. That week on the ward, Daisy wore her pink hair. It gave her the power to fight things that weren't fair. And when she felt ill or unhappy or low, she'd smile, knowing she was a superhero. The next time it happened, our Daisy was ready. A crackle, a flash. She held herself steady. Then, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Somebody must need a superhero. Yes. Trapped in a wood, a bear grunted and groaned. My scratching tree fell on me. Please help, he moaned. Daisy summoned her strength and heaved at the tree. Up it came with a creak. The bear was set free. They soon found a new tree, as good as before. The bear scratched his back and gave a glad roar. Daisy smiled, flicking her pink hero hair, so proud she could help a bear in despair. 
That week on the ward, Daisy wore her pink hair. It gave her the power to fight things that weren't fair. And when she felt ill or unhappy or low, she'd smile, knowing she was a superhero. In the car, singing loud to her favorite band, Daisy suddenly found she was standing on sand. A flash, a crackle. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Somebody must need a superhero. Yes, a girl stared at her ice cream, a splat on the sand. Daisy came up beside her and took her small hand. That seagull, the girl sobbed, came close and I screamed. It scared me and I dropped my favorite ice cream. Daisy looked that seagull in its beady eyes. You mean naughty birdie to make this girl cry. You know that you gave her a fright and a scare. Now she's dropped her ice cream. It's double unfair. The seagull and Daisy went back to the van. It nodded with guilt as she spoke to the man. Then she followed its lead across the white sand a bright pink ice cream firmly clutched in each hand. Thank you, the girl said. It's so nice that you care. And please, can I try on your pink hero hair? Now the medicine is all put away. Daisy is better and ready to play. But deep inside, she will always be a superhero. Just watch and see. Her strength her smile, one cheeky wink, and Daisy's golden locks flash pink. <laughs>